God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All honor thy scepter. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite the best domain, everlasting is thy reign. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, Pray for me, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to our lasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may keep your faithfully may, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Hear me without it. A reading from the book of Acts. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with a baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about 12 men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing, Sing to God, God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. Sing to God, God O kingdom, kingdom of the earth. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to I went God, too early. O of the earth. Of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdom of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. 
Sing to God, O kingdom of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived, when each of you will be scattered to his own home, and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone, because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So as we all know, um, today is Memorial Day, and norm normally today is filled with parades, barbecues, cookouts, mattress sales, you know. Uh, that, that's what Memorial Day is all about, of course. But perhaps um, the whole thing of COVID-19 hanging over our heads is putting a damper on a lot of that. But that doesn't change the fact that, that today is a day that de deserves some introspection because today is really a serious day. And, and we're here today for the very specific reason of praying for those who have died in the military service. You know, Veterans Day is the day we honor our veterans. Memorial Day is the day we pray for the deceased, right? That's like the big difference. And so today we remember all those who paid the ultimate price, those who have passed away in the service of their country, defending our most precious freedoms. No rational person wants a war, of course, but sometimes a war is just. We call that the just war. Sometimes a war is unjust, but regardless of the politics and the causes, it is right that we pray for those who participated, who fought those wars. The vast majority of, of those who died in, in war were not politicians or ethicists. They didn't spend a whole lot of time thinking about or debating whether a war is just or unjust. They, they were called and they went to do their duty, regardless of, of the politics or the motivation for the war. All they did is they wanted to serve their country as best they knew how. The most deadly war that this country has ever faced was not World War II, you know that, right? It was the Civil War. More Americans died in the Civil War than I think all the other wars combined. It was that, that brutal, even though this was, this was before you know, modern, modern weapons. And in November of 1864, at the height of the American Civil War, when things were looking as grim as could be, the, war, the Secretary of the War Department, it wasn't called the Department of Defense back then, it was called the War Department, informed President Abraham Lincoln that five soldiers in the Union Army had been killed. All of them were brothers. Five brothers had been killed. And Lincoln was shaken by this news. You know, their, their, their last name was Bixby, by the way. And so Lincoln sat down and he composed and sent a very brief letter of consolation to, their, to the mother of these five boys. Her name was Lydia Parker Bixby. She was a widow living in Boston. And so I want to share with you now Lincoln's letter because it says so much about what today is about. 
This again, this is Lincoln's letter to Lydia Parker Bixby. From the Executive Mansion, Washington, D.C., November 21st, 1864. Dear Madam, I have been shown in the files of the War Department a statement of the Adjutant General of Massachusetts that you are the mother of five sons who have died gloriously on the field of battle. I feel how weak and fruitless must be any words of mine which should attempt to beguile you from the grief of a loss so overwhelming. But I cannot refrain from tendering to you the consolation that may be found in the thanks of the Republic they died to save. I pray to our Heavenly Father, I pray that our Heavenly Father may assuage the anguish of your bereavement and leave you only the cherished memory of the loved and the lost and the solemn pride that must be yours to have laid so costly a sacrifice upon the altar of freedom. Yours very sincerely and respectfully, A. Lincoln. So that was a very brief letter, only about 140 or so words long, but it is now a treasured part of American history because it recognizes the, the great sacrifice paid by one particular family, but it also recognizes a nation's acknowledgement and recognition of that sacrifice in an attempt to, to console this poor widow. It's also one of the small but important things that made Abraham Lincoln such a great president. Our society today needs to understand that although we should certainly fight for justice and freedom here on earth when necessary, sometimes we have to fight, at the same time, even when we do win a war, we have to remember those who pay the ultimate price. We also have to remember that even when we do win a war, that that peace is never going to last. After the Civil War, within one lifespan, there was World War I, the war to end all wars. 20 years later, World War II. Right after that, the Cold War, and so forth and so on. Point being is that the peace time we have on Earth is only temporary. The peace time that we all really want and should strive for is the peace of heaven because that's the peace that will never end. That's the peace that does not depend upon a ceasefire or an armistice. And so as we celebrate this Memorial Day, let's take hope in the prophet Isaiah's words when he wrote, Men will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. And so until that happens, of course, there will be wars. There will be those asked to pay the ultimate sacrifice. So in, until that day comes, we pray for those who have sacrificed so much for our peace, albeit a temporary peace, because the peace that we enjoy today is really a foretaste of the eternal peace that we hope to enjoy in the next life. Amen. Brethren, as we now make our prayer for our parish, for our, our community and the world, let us all pray to Christ the Lord, not only for ourselves and for our own needs, but for all those who are also in need. For the whole Christian people, let us beseech the abundance of divine goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who do not yet believe, let us implore the giver of all spiritual gifts. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who, pub, who hold public office, that they will take us to war very, very carefully and after due consideration and with great regret, we pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who pay the ultimate sacrifice, for all those soldiers, sailors, and airmen, especially those known but to God. On all sides, we pray to the Lord. And let us pray for our veterans today, that we may honor their service as well that they also may understand 
that they are loved and respected for what they've done. We pray to the Lord. For those fighting today on the front lines around the world, not only overseas and and in combat of all sorts, but those fighting on the front lines of our our COVID-19 pandemic, a different kind of battle, but one equally important, we pray to the Lord. Lord, And for those who are now recovering from the floods in Edenville and Sanford, that they also will be able to resume their lives with normalcy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Incline your merciful ear to our prayers, we ask, O Lord, and listen in kindness to the supplications of those who call on you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, and my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this unblemished sacrifice pure us, purify us, O oh Lord, and impart to our, hum- our minds the force of grace from on high, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it, is right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For while, for in you we live and move and have our being, and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deo Sabao, Pleni sunt celi et terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini. Hosanna in excelsis. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we may come a prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, 
be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all those who hold to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or the offered for themselves, for the redemption of their souls, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John, and Paul, Cosmos, and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate Therefore, we, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven. To you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we are servants and your holy people, Offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace 
and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits by granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. And you stay, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
that request. That request. That request. Let us pray, graciously be present to your people, we pray, O oh Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. St. Michael, the Archangel. Defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <coughs> Thank you.